We were expecting a conviction of something. We certainly were not expecting first degree. We were surprised at convictions straight across the board. Um, the arguments that we made and the things that we wanted the jury to consider, um, apparently the jury didn't think was important. And uh, you know, I have the greatest respect for juries and always want to thank every person who's given up their time to be on any jury. Um, but they did come back rather quickly for a trial with well over a hundred exhibits. Um, a little over two hours was, was surprisingly quick, yes. Um, I'm assuming there will be some kind of appeal. Is there anything that you can educate me on from that perspective? Sure. The first step is we'll have a sentencing hearing uh, late April and then within um, after that there'll be a motion for new trial filed and then the appeals will follow that. Um, keep in mind, uh, one of the things that sort of did come up a number of times, uh, you asked for a mistrial, you asked for acquittal, um, you even kind of sort of respectfully, but you know, there was a little bit of tension there obviously from you and the judge. Was, was, was that real? Was that, you know, how big of an issue and are you still going to make that an issue in any future motions that you may have on this? Well, case? we had we had filed a motion uh, based on some other grounds for uh, Judge Gay to recuse himself and, and he uh, gave us a full hearing on that and he considered our position. He denied that and we took what's known as an interlocutory appeal on that issue and that was also denied. Um, you know, we'll make a determination in the future as to whether or not any issues related to that will, will go up or not. Um, how is Lindsay doing today? She seemed very emotional at the beginning of the trial. Um, frankly, her family was far more emotional yesterday than she was. Um, you know, how, how is she you know, doing today? How is she holding up? What are her thoughts? Yeah, uh, she was more emotional today. Um, yesterday, she left and she was just saying she was okay. and. I'm no psychologist, but I think that perhaps um, it was disassociation again kicking in. It was like it wasn't happening to her, and because um, uh, she was she was strangely calm yesterday. And even when I went back and talked with her right after the verdict, she seemed to be perfectly calm and at peace. And this this morning, she's I uh, talked to her, and she's she's upset. You know, she she was tearful and. And, uh, you know, as I, as on that subject, it, it seems to me, at least early in the trial, you know, particularly the first couple of days, um, she had a hard time keeping control of her emotions. Obviously, the judge made some comments related to that, but I mean, even in times when he wasn't, it, it, it seemed to us, at least, that she really was uh, on the verge of, of having, a, you know, some type of emotional breakdown. Were we, you know, am I right in that? Yeah, I, th I How think did you so. How manage that? It, it was tough, and, and we uh, worked something out with the judge wherein um, when she started to get emotional, we would ask for a break, uh, and because the judge understandably didn't want her, uh, you know, sobbing uncontrollably in front of the jury, and, and we understand that, and the judge has a right and a duty to, to make sure his courtroom is properly run and, and people are acting appropriately. That one outburst uh, where I think the judge actually stopped trial was during the text messages when, when that testimony was being uh, displayed. What caused that? Do you, are you able to talk about that at all? Yes. Uh, uh, proof came in, uh, and more of this would have come in had Lindsay testified, but proof came in uh, that she was essentially um, date raped uh, and that uh, she became emotional not only when those text messages were introduced, but later on when the father of the children testified, um, she was she became even more emotional. I think that was maybe the following day. And um, she also uh, did what she could to try to deal with it during the trial. Uh, other issues, when there were photographs of the babies being shown, for example, she would keep her head down and look away. Um, one of the psychologists she has seen told her that during stressful times, particularly in court, that maybe it would be a good thing for her to 
keep busy and try to work on something. She would sometimes do simple mathematical equations. Other times would write down Bible verses that she knew well. Um, and it, she would sometimes be seen writing furiously. And it wasn't she was taking notes on the trial. Generally, it was that she was just trying to take her mind off uh, what was going on to try to keep her emotions in check. Two follow-ups to that, because you actually kind of answered the question that I, I had personally. Uh, but before I get to that one, um, so you, what I'm hearing from you then, the reason why she had those two fairly visible emotional outbursts, both of them did, you know, obviously related to Jeremy Smith, that was a date rape reaction. That was a reminder of a horrible thing to her. Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes. Um, one of the questions we got from a lot of viewers, um, they felt like uh, she didn't react to the pictures, she reacted more to him, you know, pictures by pictures, I mean pictures right. of, of her babies, but she did react more to him. Um, I, I think you kind of answered it, but tell me why that was. Was it because she wasn't looking at the pictures? Yes, she, she would intentionally try not to look at the photographs. And. I'd love to talk to you a little bit about, you know, putting her on the stand. You said initially going into this, what was your plan from that regard? Yeah, we had always planned on her testifying. Uh, we had prepared for her to testify. She anticipated testifying. And as the trial went on, enough came out telling her story that we began to consider uh, not having her testify. That is the decision of the client. It's not the decision of the lawyers but she relied heavily on what we told her. And on Sunday, she decided not to testify. And then Monday, uh, she began to have second thoughts. And, and uh, um, I had no real strong opinion. Um, there were certainly pros and cons both ways. But the bottom line, it came down to when it was time for her to testify, she just said she emotionally could not do it. and. Um, I was faced with a real dilemma, um, you know, thought about, it was not very late in the day, and, and uh, but I seriously thought about asking the court to consider giving us till the next day to, to try to get her um, emotions in check, but uh, she just was just not in a position to go forward with her testimony when the time came. 